How's it going YouTube? It's your boy Flex here, bringing you another video. In today's video, um, it's just a discussion topic, a uh, little discussion piece here. Just want to talk to you guys for a second. And um, someone the other day sent me a, uh, a message on my Instagram, basically asking me if, uh, if it's worth gridding your cards. And uh, today, I want to answer that question with my own personal experience um, by no means am I an expert in this but I've had my fair share of dealings with different grading companies and um, just want to give off my knowledge and my opinion on certain things and hopefully I can shed some light on it uh, I know other people have done videos like these before and a lot of information is out there if you look really hard and you'll find it but um just in case you're having a tough time i'm just here and uh i'll try to see what i can to help you out on that end and just give you my opinion and um hopefully you guys can share your opinion um by commenting below letting me know what you think and so forth so let's continue forward and let's answer the question are your cards worth getting graded? And ultimately it comes down to what you prefer and it's totally up to you and depends on what you're in it for. Uh, I'll be frank. There is a, a value involved into certain cards getting graded. There is also a value in cherishing your cards and protecting your cards but there's also multiple ways of doing that. And where do you want to go? Where should you go in order to grade these companies with so many graded, grading companies out there right now? Uh, so many to choose from, so many tiers. It can get really overwhelming and really confusing. So to answer the question, if it's worth it, it's totally up to you and what you're looking to do. Um, there's a market for reselling. There's a collector's love just having their card slab with a number next to it, which dictates how good of a condition that card is. Typically, they range from 1 to 10, um, and there's different tiers to that. Some use half grades, like 8, 8.5, 9, 9.5, 10, pristine 10, perfect 10, black label 10, immaculate 10. I mean, there's, there's just so many tiers when it comes down, depending on the company that you go with. Um, should you get your cards graded? It's, I feel like that's the same same answer. It's up to you. Um, I personally like getting my cards graded. Um, I like the way they look. I like to display them in that form, in that fashion. But that's up to me. That's what I prefer. Uh, do I prefer one company over the other? Sure. I like some slabs better than others. I uh, like some labels better than others. I like to have the ability to customize my slabs. So, I mean, some companies offer that, some don't. Am I in it for the money? Not really. Um, most of the cards I slab, I keep. Honestly, if I if I sell any of my cards, they're uh, they're raw, which means they're not graded, but they're you know pack fresh or so forth. Um, sometimes I use some of my slabs for giveaways, and and sometimes I will uh, sell one of my slabs, and um, depending on the situation, and you know as collectors, uh, we collect. You know, our, we want to collect rare and valuable items. Some collectors just like collecting certain things, and that's okay. Uh, I was never a binder collector, and I just recently started building up a binder. Um, some people collect full arts. Some people collect trainer cards. Some people collect normal cards, and that's okay. Some people collect hollows non-hollows so people collect 
by the artist who drew certain cards and that's okay there's no right or wrong way to collect cards i the binder that i i have two binders actually so i have one that i'm creating from the original 151 pokedex so base set jungle fossil and i'm putting them in order from the pokedex and i wanted a binder like that so slowly slowly and slowly i'm building towards that i have another binder that's specifically total dial cards all kinds of total dial cards all different languages um and so forth so and that's just me i love total dial so i figured why not make a binder off of it i have some slabs that are total dial cards and i love them love the way they look favorite starter of all time um so you know we all collect the way we want to collect so that's just the reality of it and that's not just in pokemon that's in collecting anything whether it be sports Yu-Gi-Oh, digimon whatever it is that you're into grading certain cards and having a high grade will add a premium to it and that's the reality does that all have to be about money no absolutely not can you get can you make money from it absolutely absolutely do I think it's it's wrong to make money off of it? No. If that's what you're into and you're doing it ethically, you're doing it with respect, you're doing it without being arrogant, then yes. I mean, it is what it is. It's There's a market for it. And if that's what you're into and that's what you, I sell slabs if I can make an extra buck, I'll do it. It's just, you know, and I typically, the money that I make from that, I put it to buy more product. One of the easy ways I was able to get hands on some vintage product was selling high-end slabs and graded cards. So, I reinvest into the hobby that I like. And most people do that, most people won't. It's There's no right or wrong way of doing it. As long as what you're doing you love... And as long as you show respect to the people within the hobby, I mean, I think that's just more important. We respect each other and we do what we love at the end of the day. Um, I also want to talk about between what's getting a card graded or getting a card authenticated. So getting a card graded basically grades the card between one to 10, typically. And the higher the number, the better the condition the card is. Ten, one being the worst, ten being the best. And getting a card authenticated, that just basically, just basically saying that the card's legit. It's a real card, not a prototype, not a fake, not a proxy. It's legit. Um, so. You have to be careful with the grading card company that you're using. You have to make sure that they are educated enough and know enough to where they can accurately authenticate your card. And they got to know that it's real. Look for the signs. Have there been cards that slipped through the cracks? Absolutely. Let me tell you a secret. It happens with all the companies one way or another we're all humans it happens unfortunately so that's why we have to also educate ourselves to know if there's a if the if the slabs are fake if the cards are fake the more you know the more knowledge knowledgeable you are about your hobby the less chance you have of being scammed right um it's scary out there especially the last couple of years it's been it's been very scary especially with a lot of proxies and fakes and mock-ups just popping up left and right and it's and they're getting better better by the day by the week by the year by the they're getting better which means we have to get better we got to be more aware make sure who, whoever you're doing business with is legit it's tough on ebay Honestly, uh, if I just, you know, if I, there's certain cards that I'm looking for and I know it's very high end, I typically try to go to a trusted source, um, or make it a public buying. So 
I'm not the only one who's aware of this purchase kind of get the community involved i mean that's what we're here for we all want to have fun we all want to know what's going on and i get excited when big deals are made that doesn't involve me i think that's awesome whether it's deal uh, whatever it's uh, just a trade involved or money's involved it's always a big deal because uh it puts um puts us in the spotlight and that brings more people into our community and that's more than i'm more than welcoming for new people to come in and and get into the hobby and i think that's awesome i think we should all strive to help the newer generation or the older generations who are getting back into it like me and i just i just think uh that's the way we grow and that's the way we uh we respect ourselves in a community uh, but that's just my opinion you know and i think that's just the way of doing certain things um Again, authenticating just means that the card's legit. They slab it up without a number attached to it. So they don't grade the condition of the card. They just check, make sure it's legit. And that's it. Uh, they put it in the same case. Sometimes they put it in the same label. Some companies don't. They said it depends on the company they go with. Um, do you have to grade your card to protect it? No, you don't. There's other ways to protect it. Um... There's uh, top loaders. Uh, you could put them in. I have a whole bunch of cards and top loaders that I've had for years, and they're okay. I've had uh, acrylic casings or plastic casings or like wall mounts. There's just different ways of displaying your cards, and they work just fine. Just be aware that no one's going to tell you. If someone tells you that you know it's it's sunlight protected or it's waterproof or what it's a lie it is unless you know it's stated otherwise um so just be careful with that as well too um you can protect your cards just fine compared to just putting in a slab with any of the companies so don't let anyone tell you otherwise um do I personally grade cards? I do. Um, I use all different com grading companies. I have PSA, CGC, Beckett. I even started using a company called TGA. Started last year. Um, relatively newer company. Startup. Started up during the, the boom that everyone's calling it. And um, I... I'm happy. I'm happy with the service that they've provided. Um, I'm happy with the results I've gotten when I graded my cards. And it makes me happy that I own them. Uh, so, at the end of the day, grading your cards should be your own experience. Whichever company you decide to go with. The reality of it is, the older companies have been around longer. PSA and Beckett are the OGs. CGC has been grading comic books for a very long time and just recently moved into uh, cards. So they're fairly new, but they do have history of grading certain um, grading comic books. So they have that. They have the history, the knowledge, of and the know-how of what they're looking for. That being said, that doesn't mean that smaller companies are bad in any way because any company can make a huge mistake. Any companies can give you a wrong grade, right? This every company's gonna say that they're the expert because they've been around longer. The reality is we're all humans, we all make mistakes, and it is what it is. I use TJ a lot personally. This is my personal opinion. I'm not sponsored by them in any way. And the only reason I, I've been using them is because uh, it's a cheaper option. Honestly. Um, and I like the way the slab looks. I mean, they offer different options in order to customize your label. And I think that's, to me, that caught my attention. And I'm happy with it. I love the way my cards turned out. I love the way they look. The reality of it is PSA and Beckett are going to hold the most value because they've been around longer. 
the real hardcore collectors, what we call them, are always going to say, are going to preach PSA and Becky, even though they have uh, some of the things that they've done are questionable. Um, but it is, it is what it is. There's certain cards that I have graded with PSA because I know they hold value. There's some cards that I love that are my personal collection that do hold value, but I get them graded with a different company because I love the way that company, I love the way their slabs look, right? So again, that's my personal opinion, my personal preference. Um, and I say to you, do the same thing. Go with what you love, go with what you like, go with what you want to collect. And for anybody else who tells you otherwise, it's not any of their business. Quite frankly, um, it is what it is. It's not their business. Don't stick your nose where it doesn't belong. Um, that's my take, honestly, man. I just, I do what I love. I love my cards. And I just think, um, and the reality of it is... Grading is just another part of the hobby or one section of the hobby. You don't have to get your cards graded. You can be a binder collector. You know, you can collect however you want. There is no right or wrong way to collect them. There is no right or wrong way to get your cards graded. You know? But again, if you're looking to for value-wise, the OGs are the way to go. Um... That doesn't mean that newer companies are not going to be valuable in the future. Valuable right now. Because I'll be honest, I've seen GMAs and TGAs um, sell for just as much or maybe a little under PSA prices. So, I mean, I'll, it is what it is. People are just after the cards, you know? And again, make sure that the companies are semi-reputable. Make sure that you do your research. Don't just send them over to ABC grading or XYZ grading because whatever reason, you know, you just make sure that it's legit. They got a legit facility. They know what they're talking about and test them out, right? Test it out. Test out with, with the lower end cards. See, work your way up and go from there. Make sure that it's legit, you know, and ask around and do your research i i when i first looked into tga it took me a while before i sent my cards in right because they're new but i did i tried them out i uh i met some of the some of the owners from there because they're actually located near you know we're um, close relatively close to where i live out in the northeast area so um it was easy to meet up and and speak to them as as people as humans and that's where i went you know it doesn't hurt a company that's going to want your business it's going to treat you with respect you know and that's what i appreciate it so i mean that's my thoughts and that's my take on what uh for grading companies and what i think do what you love do what makes you happy do your research and at the end of the day anything is worth what you put into it and how you feel about it the question, is it worth it? What's it What's it worth to you? Not to anybody else, but what is it worth to you? Only, only you can answer that question. So that's my take on it. Let me know what you guys think. Give me your thoughts and opinions on grading companies. And do you like your cards getting graded? Do you not like your cards getting graded? How do you like to collect? Are you a binder collector? Are you a slab collector? Um, let me know. Like if you like the video share if you like what you heard if you don't like what you hear we'll talk about it respectfully right don't uh that's that's what we're here it's just a discussion and just kind of kick it and it's a vibe you know i'm not editing these audio takes out i mean everything that you hear all the the stutters and the, the mispronunciations i recorded this one time i'm not recording this five times because i tripped over my my own word no this is me bro this is this is the real me authentic okay so let me know what you guys think thanks for hearing me out appreciate it. love you guys 
DM me if you have any questions. Comment below. I'll definitely reach out to everyone that I can. Until next time. Later.